All right, today we're gonna to talk about seven things to do after someone experiences a stroke. Now what happens when you get a stroke is you get hypoxia. So you have a blood clot in the brain and you start killing neurons. So you damage brain tissue. So you have this lowered amount of oxygen that then causes the brain tissue. The brain tissue is very sensitive to oxygen and it does not survive without oxygen. In fact, your brain only represents 2% of the tissue in your body, but it uses 20% of the oxygen. So you need oxygen to keep the brain going. So what do you do for a stroke? Well, the question is, well, how do you increase oxygen in the brain? That's what you need to focus on. The single most important thing that I would recommend, and to do this as quickly as possible, is to do hyperbaric oxygen therapy because what they do is they combine pure oxygen. Well, it's probably like 99.5% oxygen under pressure. So it pushes all this oxygen through your lungs up into the, into the blood, up into the brain. So it can really help heal the damage after a stroke. So this would be number one. Number two, ketones. Now, why do ketones help the brain? Well, they actually give you more oxygen. Glucose does not give you as much oxygen as ketones. And ketones are wonderful on providing an alternative fuel for especially a damaged brain. Now, how do you do that? Exogenous ketones. You can get these as supplements called ketone salts. And I would consume these through the day. So even if the person doesn't change a diet, which we recommend they do, and they have higher glucose, if there's ketones in the blood, because you took this, the brain will use the ketones over the glucose. MCT oil can also give you ketones. Going on a low carb diet can give you more ketones. And intermittent fasting can spike your ketone levels. So all of these are essential if you had a stroke. The worst thing to do is stick with the standard American diet and snack. Okay, that would be the worst thing you could do. DHA is also very important. This is an omega-3 fatty acid and your brain needs that as a part of its structure. This has been shown to help improve a damaged brain, uh, so I would consume a good amount of it. Vitamin D can help repair a damaged brain. Lots of exercise will flood the body and the brain with O2. And I would definitely wanna include long walks, low stress, Lots of oxygen, very, very important. Now there's something else that you may wanna consider and it's called acute intermittent hypoxia. Now this is interesting because you're basically creating a hypoxic state uh, with a very short period of time and then you're increasing oxygen back and forth. Because anytime you're taking away oxygen on a very short-term basis and then putting it back in, you're creating a, what's called a hormetic effect. So you're causing a stimulation of certain genes that increase the growth of brain tissue. So the key, the term is intermittent, okay? Not a chronic state where you're cutting down the oxygen, but just a little bit. I mean, there's certain uh, people that train under hypoxic conditions when they're training in high altitudes, for example, that then can strengthen their, uh, their circulation and their endurance. Yet there's some great data on this in relationship to uh, people who had strokes. I'll put a link down below. And the last thing is whole vitamin C complex. Now, normally vitamin C comes as a synthetic fraction of the entire complex, but the entire vitamin C complex that has all the factors can help strengthen the blood vessels to prevent a stroke in the future, especially when you're dealing with aneurysms and weaknesses within the blood vessel itself. All right, there you have it, the seven things that a person should do after they experience a stroke. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.